Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our villager house tutorial series this is mythical sausage how is everybody doing oh man i'm doing great hope you guys are doing amazing this series has been so much fun we started last episode by making a farming villager house and that was so much fun today we're gonna be jumping into that barrel you see over there on the left not jumping in it but you know we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some stuff we're gonna be making a fisherman hut and it's gonna be so much fun let me know what you guys want to see next what other villager professions would you like to see a house for uh made into a nice tutorial for the next episode so let's get this started let me show you the block palette all right and here's the block palette we're using basic materials as cobble some stone some spruce and some oak and if you guys missed the last episode we made this cool farmer's house and this was awesome this was so much fun to make so check the description if you guys want to see the actual tutorial on this one but for today let's get to that fishing hut all right, and here's the dimensions of the build. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and work this out right now. The main structure is this section back here. This is the front porch that kind of wraps around and goes down into the water and has like a little fishing dock pier section on this side. But let's start this out. We're gonna start it out with our oak logs and bring um, all these other blocks along the way. So let's start right here for the main structure. So for this one, we're gonna go up by eight. So right here, let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, think of this grass as the water line. So the main structure is eight, so we're gonna have it almost up on stilts and take this log all the way down to the bottom uh, of, the, uh, of the water, so all the way down. Now, for this one, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, and then right here, we're gonna go also up by eight, right here. Let's take this line here, one, two, three, four, five, and then take this one also up by eight. We're gonna go down this way again, one, two, three, four, five, and this is also up by eight. So a total of like a little oh, seven by seven box here. Now for this little spot, let's take this out one and two, and then right here, we're gonna take this up by four. So one, two, three, and four. Give it a space again of one, two, three, four, and five, and then also up by four, matching that one. We're making cross beams right here. So let's go up by two from the water line, which is this grass, <laughs> and then we go one, two, and on the third one, we're gonna do a little cross beam. We're also gonna cross beam all the way around on this line. So let's cross beam everything going all the way around, just like so. Let's also cross beam right here. And this part we can cross beam as well. So all these are cross beamed. Then here, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three. And then this one, we're only gonna go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Give it a space of one, two, three, four, and five. And this one also up by six, and then also let's cross beam on this level to match everything we have so far. So right about there. Now for this side, let's do our little pier section. So for this, we're gonna pretty much match these logs for most of it, so let's count. So from right here, we're gonna go one, two, three. On this one, we're gonna go up by four, matching that. Then we're gonna go down one, two, three. And right here, we're gonna go up by four as well. Take this one another three, up by four. And then this one, we're only gonna take it up by one and two. So one and two, just like so, leaving that, just like that. All right, now we're gonna work on the flooring. So let's grab our spruce slabs. So I'm gonna cover this whole part up right here on this end, also cover up this section, and then we're gonna come to the front and cover up this section. Now these slabs are gonna go all the way down until this point. Once we get to the log right here, these two cross logs, we're gonna go ahead and put some stairs. We're gonna put them right here, one and two. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little placeholder of a slab and I'm gonna put another slab here. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then we're gonna lay this down right here. So one, two, three, right up to there. This one is also gonna be a stair. We're gonna put a stair here and a stair right here. So this literally goes right to the water line. So you can literally walk in from the water there. Then on this part, we're gonna take this down again. So let's go another one, two, three, four. So we're gonna stop here, leaving the logs all the way around open. And we're gonna use trap doors for this one. So just to give a little bit of detail, surround so trap doors all the way around, just like so. Then we're gonna grab our fences. Let's put fences here all the way around, skipping the middle, and let's put gates, uh, hold on, let's put a gate here and here. This one I'm not gonna put anything, we're gonna leave that open. And then here we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, so we're gonna go uh, fences on the ends, fence in the middle, gates in between, and then here, just double fence right there. All right, now it's time to work on the walls. So for this one, we're gonna go up with our stripped spruce log, go up by four here, up by four on the corner, and then in the center bits, we're gonna go up by four with the planks, up by four with the planks. We're gonna fill that one in and put an upside down stair right there. And then we're gonna just cross beam right here with our oak. So let's repeat this same thing on this side and on this side. 
And now the only difference between the front door section and this section is we're gonna make a small window here. So for this part, you're gonna put a full block. Here we're gonna put a stair. And you got a two high window looking just like this. So it's a really cool pattern we got going. So this was not gonna be textured like we normally do. This is more like a pattern look, which is awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat this door setup on this end. So really super simple, up by four, up by four, planks going up, planks going up by four, full block, upside down stair, and we have ourselves a way in to this section. Also cross beam right on the top. All right, now let's work on this little side section. So we're pretty much gonna repeat this pattern, but in a smaller scale. So we're gonna go up right here with our strip, one, two, three, and four. Here we're gonna go with a full block, skip a space, upside down stair, and a full block, and then here we're just gonna go up with stripped one, two, and three, just like so. Then we're gonna repeat this one on this end. So once we repeat that section on this end, we're gonna give it a little bit of uh, like almost like a tutor style. So we're gonna go up here with stripped one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, every other one, and then one, two, and three of our planks. So it's gonna look like this from this end. All right, now it's time to work on the roof. Let's grab our spruce stairs and we're gonna go right down this direction here, all the way down, overhanging it from one end to the other, just like so. I'm gonna go with some upside down stairs right here next to this stair. And then we're just gonna go up with a very gradual step pattern all the way up to the top until we get to the center, which is right lined up with that uh, window. Upside down stair here and a stair facing this way and just come back down this direction. Let's go back and then once we get back to this part, right here i'm gonna go with an upside down stair right there to match the upside down stair we have here then let's go ahead and put upside down stairs every other one and then slabs in between and then once we get to this part we're gonna go down with slabs so right here at this edge i'm gonna go with a double slab i'm gonna go with a double slab here double double slab and then once we get to this part we're gonna go with stairs we're gonna go down this direction but at the end here i want to go with a little stair like that just to curve out that bottom so let's do this, let's wrap it all the way down and get back to this end. And then let's go ahead and repeat what we did over there on this side. So let's do it together. So we're gonna go with upside down stairs every other one, slabs in between. We're gonna go with stairs gradually going all the way up just like so until we get to the middle point, which should be right here lined up down with this door. Upside down stair, stair facing this way. And let's continue with our step patterns until we get back to the other side right here. And then we're gonna go with slabs again, so let's do it. So double slab here, double slab, a double, a single slab, and then an upside down stair in the corner, ending just like that with that cool little gradual way down like the, like so, that looks cool. All right, now let's work on this little pop-out tower we see here. So for this one, we're gonna go lined up right where this log is here, and this log is right here. So two away from this side, two from this side. We're gonna go up with our oak. So let's go up right here. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Give it a three spacer here. This log, we're gonna go up also by six. Now, right here, we're gonna pretty much match this beam. So let's actually run this line of this beam here, down this way, and down this way. So this matches where that beam is originally placed, and we have this little space in between. Right here, we're just gonna put some stairs facing downwards like that. Then, let's take this up, matching that one. So from here, it should be only a one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four from here, just like so. And then we're gonna go right in the middle and let's go ahead and do the same style we did down here. So we're gonna go with strips, one, two, three, and f uh, well, one, two, three, <laughs> one, two, three here. One, two, three, one, two, and three here. Well, I fell, it's fine. We're gonna go one, two, and three, three on this side, three on every side. We're gonna go with a full block and an upside down stair, full block, upside down stair, and then over here as well, full block, upside down stair. For this one, we're just gonna cover it up. So we're just gonna go up one, two, and three, cover that little bit up. And then we're just gonna cross beam all of these right here at the top. So once we have this, let's go ahead and work on the bottom section of the roof and then we'll do the full roof and then we'll do the tower roof separate. So for this one, really simple, we're just gonna go down with our slab. So a slab here, double slab, we should cover that bit. We're gonna go with a slab here, double slab. There we're gonna go with a stair. Here we're gonna go with another stair and another stair. This is just gonna run down that direction. So let's repeat this on this side. I'm gonna go with a single, double, single, double, stair and stair. Now here, we can actually just run this down. Let's do this real fast. This is going from one end to the other. It's a little complicated if you're doing it in survival. I might do this roof first and then pop the tower after in survival, but it all depends really how you wanna do it. So once we get to there, we're almost done. We're gonna bring this all the way down. So just connect stairs from one side to the next. And then when we get to the other side, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that little window we have there. 
here, really simple. We're just going to connect with slabs from this stair to that stair. Now let's work on this section of the roof. So this is super simple. We could do pretty simple. You can actually take all these down and make it completely flush and it should end up like this if you want. But if you want to do what I did on the other side, I added a very, very simple window here. So right in the center bit, just these three, we're going to take out. So right in the middle, we're going to put two logs, one on each side, stairs, stairs, take that one out and that should connect and curve around upside down stair stair facing this way and a slab right there because so that should connect just like so little bits of detail is putting slabs underneath and then trap doors underneath those gaps and then we could do the same thing on this side so we got slabs every other one and then trap doors in between and this matches the style we did on the other build too now, for this little middle gaps we have here, really super simple. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of the stripped oak. And then if you want, you can leave it just like that. If you want a texture, you can give it maybe a little bit of plankage. And it looks like that, it looks pretty cool. And then we're just gonna repeat this on this side. All right, now it's time for the tower roof. This one's super simple as well. We're just doing a smaller scale of the big one we did underneath. We're gonna take our stairs and overhang that bit. Take our stairs and overhang this bit. Uh, there we go. And then we're just going to go upside down and stairs facing forward. A simple step pattern till we get to the center bit. Once we get to the center bit, we're just going to go ahead and put a little upside down stair. Stair facing forward. And then repeat this on this side and just connect it together. This doesn't have any windows on the top, so it's very, very simple to complete. So it should look like this once you're done with it. And then in this little middle gap as well, we're going to do the same things. We can mix a little bit of plank a little bit of strip just going down that direction and then we're going to put some trap doors right here in that little separation between the log and the other kind of log right there and of course this gets repeated on the other side last thing we're going to do is the same little trim we have down here with slabs and trap doors and we're going to do it on both sides now this one could be a little bit tricky so actually i will probably remove this to do it and then just go with a slab on every other one like so and then uh trap doors in the gaps and then put your stairs back now the next bit of detail we're going to do a little bit of an overhang here we're going to go with a cobble wall on each side fences on each side and then we're going to grab our campfire and we're just going to go from one is that is fisherman leaving don't leave man we're going to go all the way down like this <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and cover this up with campfires going all the way down pretty much just going from the back to the front and we're going to leave it on fire no, actually, let's go ahead and take that out. Now, one of the last bits of details we're going to be adding are some slabs to these exposed logs right here. We're also going to add some windows. I'm going with regular old glass panes, and you can go with really anything. You can even go with trap doors there. I'm using shutters uh, with the oak kind on the sides, and I'm just going to go ahead and add these all the way around. So uh, glass shutters i usually put one. Oh, that's not even a shutter that's a shutter on the sides uh but if you want you can also add two i usually prefer one but that you can add as many as you want so let me go ahead and do this one real fast all the way around now another cool feature that i added was right here i right in the center bit on this section we're gonna go ahead and pop this log out and we're gonna go out one two three i'm gonna put a barrel at the end then i'm gonna get some grindstones i'm gonna put a grindstone facing this direction one facing this direction, one facing that direction, and then we're putting a light. So it's like a little bit of a lighthouse feature. Even though it's not really a lighthouse, it just gives you a cool little feature here. You can also hang fish from there or something, whatever you guys want. But uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's a little extra bit of detail that I really like. Another thing that I want to add is some flower boxes. So I'm going with Pazzo, but you can go with really anything here. Grass, um, pretty much anything. Uh, so I'm going to just surround this uh, right here with trap doors. Also put trap doors underneath. I'm just adding some berry bushes right here. This makes it look really Really, really cool uh here i'm gonna add one here i'm gonna add three and then here i'm gonna add three and then we're just gonna pretty much do the same thing by putting our berry bushes and our trap doors and you can really pretty much add any trap door but i'm just gonna go with spruce just so you can match the house all right now we're on the inside let me show you how to separate this section here so one thing i want to do is take this all the way up on each side so you didn't see it from the outside but you do see it from the inside another little bit of detail i want to do is maybe give some slabs going down like so give a little bit of slabbage going down like so and this kind of rounds this off i'm going to put a couple more slabs there that gives you a nice little roof feel to that uh, you can also add a couple on the edges and that also curves it out a little bit uh, and then maybe uh just i would just maybe fill that in just so it can match what's happening over there or you could take this little bit out uh and you could do something oh nope something like that <laughs> So the roof would look something like this. You can even curve it out even more over here with a couple of trap doors, and that gives you a nice little curve on this end that you wouldn't have if you didn't have those trap doors. So that's a cool, nice little roof right there. And in the middle, if you want, you could drop a log down and maybe a little light right there on the top. 
Another thing that I did on the other side, and I'm gonna show you some interior inspiration, is do a little lofty area. So right here at this line that you see right here on the bottom, we can go with a line of slabs to so go one, two, three, one, two, three, every other one. Then we can put trap doors in the middle, trap doors in the middle, and then double up with trap doors going down like this. Lift those up, get rid of these placeholders, and then you can put a little bit of a ladder uh, going up right here, and then you have yourself a little bit of a lofty area. You can add storage and a bunch of details here on the top. Uh, here you have this space open to do whatever you want, and you have this cool little feature here, this loft, which is awesome. On this side, what you could do is, since we do have a tower, well, step number one, I want to detail this a little bit. So let's go ahead and lift this one up on each side like we have right there. Then we can do pretty much what we did on the other side, and I'm gonna go with some slabs, which I don't have, give me a step. There we go. I'll go with some slabs on each side, and then make it super simple. You can just put a light right there. If you want, you can add even more details going all the way around, maybe even curve it like that if you want. Now, for this section, where I would line it up would be right here. I would go with slabs right here, slabs right here, and then trap doors right in the center, just like that. And we have this room separated, but then we're gonna have to definitely put a ladder. So you can go with a ladder pretty much um, anywhere here. I'm just gonna go straight up the middle right here. And then we just take that up right there. Then for this section, it already looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like is this little log exposed kind of section. So for this, I would just put some upside down stairs on each side and a little trap door in the center just to give you little arches on both ends. And we have space right here upstairs and then this area with our loft but let me show you next door if you guys want some inspiration of what to put inside all right now once you're finished it should look like this now this looks awesome just because of the exterior so if you're planning on building this thing uh, it's gonna look a lot better if you do stuff like this on the outside for the pond you can go ahead and add your fish add some dead coral fans kind of looks like fungus a little uh, you know a little bit of fungi on the side uh, we also have some uh, bamboos we got sugar cane we got uh, some terraforming under here with some bone meal we also have some mossy some uh, don't don't look at yeah this is we're in a flat world that's fine don't look at that but either way it looks pretty cool uh, if you dress up the area like this going all the way around and that looks super cool but let me show you on the inside how you can make this area just pop even more especially with the interior things you can do is by adding barrels and chests on the outside a little seating area here with a fishing rod maybe a little section with you can have some worms or something as you fish off to the side here when you come on in here's a little section that I have all planned out it's almost like a, a little uh, fish preparation station so we have ourselves a little knife you can cut the fish here we can wash the fish or clean them up we could probably hang fish from there use your imagination uh we have some barrels for storage and a little light with some uh just a little carpet here on the bottom uh we have a uh, crafting bench with a bush the ladder takes you up and then up here we have just extra storage paintings uh a bunch of stuff back here that you can use. Uh, then on this side is where we have our sleeping area. So we have a bunch of fishermen here. Well, two technically or more if they want to just, you know, share. Uh, so we got a couple beds, a little writing desk here on the side, their favorite fishing pool right there. They're having fun with it. And then over here, our ladder takes us to the top. And over here, just extra storage. So stuff here uh, that they have accumulated over time. We have a nice little top right there, which looks really, really awesome. But what do you guys think? <laughs> this was so much fun to make, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let's take one more last little spin over here this was awesome so let me know what you guys want me to build next for the village i think maybe a library might be in order uh maybe we could do a little bit of a blacksmith something for the armor or the toolsmith i don't know let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll be down to do it but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next episode goodbye Two.